What's up everyone? This is Sean Rampersad here from the LendRamp Mortgage Team at TMG The Mortgage Group coming to you with another awesome video about mortgages. So today we're going to be talking about Canada's RRSP Home Buyer Plan. Okay, I'm sure uh, you may have Googled by now uh, what kind of uh, programs are available to Canadians and this is one of the more popular ones that you can use for a down payment. Okay, so if you have money in an RRSP, this is for you, or if you plan on putting money into an RRSP, this, uh, this plan is for you. So first and foremost, what is the RRSP Home Buyer Plan? The RRSP Home Buyer Plan is a plan that the Canadian government came out with. Uh, basically what they're allowing you to do is they're allowing you to withdraw up to $35,000 out of your RRSP to put towards your down payment, okay? Um, the plan is repayable, so you do have to pay it back after 15 years. Payments, your first payments start after the first two years of it. So essentially what they allow you to do is they allow you to take the money out of your RSP. You've already uh, enjoyed the tax, some of the tax benefits that you uh, had by putting money into the RRSP. And there is no tax consequences for you uh, pulling the money out of the RRSP. Okay, so it's awesome. If uh, if you don't have money saved for a down payment, this is uh, this is a plan that's definitely for you. So, how do you qualify for the RRSP Home Buyer Plan? Uh, first and foremost, uh, either one, you have to be a first time home buyer. You absolutely must be a Canadian citizen. You can't be on a work visa or anything like that uh, to qualify. So you have to be a Canadian citizen. They have to know that you're gonna be here uh, to pay the money back. Uh, other than that, uh, if you have not lived in a home that you or your spouse has owned for the last four years, you also qualify. So you don't necessarily need to be a first time home buyer. Uh, I mean, that's that's, one of the groups of people that can qualify for this. But if you owned a home 20 years ago and then you sold it, you know, 10 years ago and then just rented for the for the past little while, you could also qualify for the program because you have not owned a property in the last four years. So that's uh, that's how you qualify for the, the program. Basically, the steps to get approved is I will help you with the documentation. Give me a call. I'll put in the application form, fill out the documentation to you, send it off to the government, and uh, and then you will either get approved or declined. The money has to be used within 30 days of you uh, getting the money out towards your down payment. And it's paid directly to your lawyer, so you don't get cash in hand at, at any point uh, for your down payment. So you still have to have your deposit, okay? Uh, so your initial deposit could be $1,000, it could be $5,000, who knows, but you still have to have that, that money in place. Uh, the applications are made uh, online and uh, the preliminary approval can happen within a few business hours. So it's a pretty quick process overall. Next, can you qualify more than once for the RRSP home buyer plan? Yes, you can qualify more than once. So if you purchased a home on the RRSP home buyer plan, 10 years ago, let's say, and then you paid it back, okay, into your RRSP, meaning you owe no money to the government or in other, to yourself, I guess. Uh, you can use the program again, as long as you're buying a home that you're gonna be living in. So that's another important thing that you need to know about the program is it's only good for primary residents, uh, not for any rental properties or investments or, or that type of thing. It's for primary residents only. So let's talk pros and cons of the program. There's a, a bunch of them and, and it's this is not for everyone. I like to be really upfront and open uh, with people so you know if it's, uh, if it's right for you or not. And it's definitely not right for everyone. So let's talk pros first. Uh, number one, it's an interest-free loan for 15 years, okay? Uh, so that's, that's huge, definitely. Uh, two, you can qualify a second time if you do not own and live in a property for the past four years. Okay, so that's another pro. Uh, three, you can withdraw up to $35,000 for a down payment loan. Four, the loan is not debt serviced as a loan on a mortgage application. So 
as you may know, or your mortgage broker may have told you, every time you have a loan, you have to debt service the monthly payment, and that causes you to qualify for less. But because this is a special program that the government offers, even though it's a loan, it's still just considered straight savings, which it is, it's your RRSP, but it's a loan against your RRSP. Uh, and uh, five, you can use it again if you pay it back for a different property, okay? So you can use it once, turn that property that you used it the first time into a, a rental. As long as you've paid back the money, you can use the money again and then move into, uh, move into another property. So workaround, okay? One workaround is you're buying your primary residence, you use the program, okay? Then you pay the money back and you do not use the program for four years, still living in that property that you originally purchased. Then you go to buy a bigger home because your family is continuing to grow and you wanna draw on that RRSP again, you can do that, it's huge. So now let's talk cons. Uh, the cons of the RRSP home buyer plan is you have to pay it back, it's not a grant, okay? Uh, accurate paperwork is necessary. Uh, I've seen a lot of people have issues with the paperwork and getting the money out on time. Uh, call me about this anytime. I'll help you uh, put together the paperwork. Um, you're gonna have deadlines if you're gonna be in a real estate transaction. You're gonna have to meet a financing deadline, for example. And if you can't get this money out in time, you cannot close in time. So that could cause you interest. Uh, the sellers could potentially sue. Uh, so a lot, of, a lot of things can happen. So it, it's really important that a, a professional takes care of this for you. And oftentimes it's not the person that's working uh, in the bank. Uh, you're gonna need somebody that is a pro at this. Uh, I've done tons of them. Call me anytime for, for assistance with this. Uh, and it does take time to get the money out. So your bank is not just gonna, it's not gonna be like you can walk into the bank and, and pull this 35 grand out of your RSP. The application has to go into the government, the government has to approve it, then uh, the bank has to see that they've approved it, then the bank has to release the funds. So you're gonna give yourself, I'd say 20 days minimum, okay? Uh, and then the, uh, the final con I'd say is you must be a resident of Canada when you withdraw the fund. You can't be on a visa and you can't, definitely can't be on a work permit to qualify. So those are also a couple of cons about this. Uh, other weird rules you should know about. The RSP, uh, RSP funds must be in your account 90 days prior to withdrawal. Uh, so if you're going to put money into your RSP today, you won't be able to withdraw it for 90 days. So you're getting the tax benefit still for putting the money into your RSP. You just have to give yourself 90 days. I would actually give yourself 100 days. Okay, so let the money sit in your account for 90 days, put the application in and uh, make it 100 days until closing, uh, even 110 days uh, just for, for comfort. Two, if you're buying with a partner who is not a first time home buyer, you cannot have lived in the house they owned for the past four years. I think this is kind of a, kind of a stupid rule, but it's, it's still a rule because, you know, oftentimes you may move into your spouse's property and then you decide to buy a larger property together. Uh, unfortunately, you can't do that right away. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're going to be applying for the program. The property must be your primary residence. Okay, so that's, uh, that's huge. Repayment of the loan will start two years after the purchase. So it's not necessarily zero, it is 0% for 15 years, but you have to start paying it back after two years. And this happens on your notice of assessment. So basically there's gonna be a line in your notice of assessment and it's gonna say, um, it's gonna say for the home buyer plan, it'll say HBP on your notice of assessment and then there's gonna be a bill in there for you. And you're gonna to have to pay that back or you're gonna to have to pay government interest. Uh, Work-based RRSP contributions do count towards repayment. So if you work at the government per se or any company that puts money into an RRSP, that money is considered part of repayment. So you may not get a bill if uh, from Revenue Canada if you have uh, that kind of thing happening at work. So that's pretty cool. 
So a quick summary of the video uh, so far is the government allows you to withdraw up to 35,000 out of your RRSP with no penalty for a down payment. Uh, you have to be a first time home buyer uh, to qualify or not have used the program for the past four years. Uh, this loan must be repaid after 15 years, starting at two years uh, for your first payments. And there's no interest on the loan. So it's, it's awesome, okay? Uh, if you like the info uh, we're providing, please subscribe to the channel and, uh, and like the video. Any questions you have, just post it in the comments below. I've uh, written a blog about it. It's going to be on my website, www.lendramp.com. And call me with any uh, mortgage-related questions you have. I can be reached anytime at 780-278-4847. Um, I'm going to also be leaving uh, more notes in the comment below, summaries, uh, that type of thing about the program, just so you have the information at your fingertips. Uh, and keep in mind, we're mortgage brokers. We want to assist you in getting your mortgage. We get lower rates than what you can get uh, going into the bank. Um, we also offer better service than our competition, and we're the easiest way to get approved. Uh, I'm located right now in the Edmonton Marketplace. I'm in Alberta and uh, in the Calgary Marketplace. And realtors know that we are the easiest way to get approved. So we do uh, A mortgages with all the banks, B mortgages, uh, private uh, lending, that type of thing. So any mortgage related questions, give me a shout and uh, I'll, I'll help walk you through. Thanks.